Right, looks like Tony's all set up to do some more welding. So you've fixed that plate on the top there, the one that we dragged up the ladder. Oh yes, that's really fair. Okay. Uh, this in. Yeah, I know, but it's a bit close to the edge for me. Ah, it's a long way down. Pass my gloves. Looks like Tony's all set up to do some more welding. Oh, that's bright, that sunshine. It's lovely, yeah. but I can't see very well. Oh. Uh, okay. Tony, Tony's starting to fix his stairs. Ah, you've cemented that bit along the wall there yeah. to make the water run off. Yeah, that is, but I've done this wrong. This has got to be concrete. It's got to be sand cement and I've put lime there, but it's moving, so I'm going to have to replace it. Right. Okay, because it does crumble, the lime, doesn't it? It does. But obviously it takes time to harden, but... Yes. Um, but they use lime render outside, don't they? Does yeah. it not go hard? <laughs> this is actual cement that we're standing on, though, oh, isn't it? Oh, that's concrete, yeah. Well, you, you're concrete, sorry. Yeah. So yeah, it would make sense that you concrete that. Um, trouble is, it's such a tiny little bit. Yes. You probably need to dig a little bit out, don't you? Maybe. Anyway, come back to that later. Yes. Right. So this is the plate that Tony's put down. Is that slippery? What, this? Yeah. Well, I suppose it would be, yeah. It will be slippery when it's wet. But, but then the there's stairs... A tread, are... There's a tread going here. So... Yeah. The treads aren't slippery, are they? So no. you won't actually be standing on this very much. No. Okay. Well, we could coat it with something non-slip, couldn't we? You could. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful morning. Okay. It's a little bit nippy, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Nice now, isn't it? Yeah. So, are you using the same welding you did before with the stick? Yep. Because it's still windy, isn't it? It's still breezy out here. It is. Okay. And I haven't got to lug the gas bottle up. Here. Yeah. Have you got to actually weld this to the plate at the bottom then? Yeah. Right. I'm going to stop looking now. Stop looking. Hmm. You guys can watch because it's through the camera, that's fine. So what do you call this bit on the side? A stringer. That's called a stringer, yeah? yeah. So are you just tacking it? No, I've welded that. it. You've welded it all, all the way along? Yep. Oh yeah. Do you need it on both sides or just one? No, just one side. Just one's enough, is it? So you've fixed that plate on the top there, the one that we dragged up the ladder. Oh yes, that's really fair. Okay, I didn't see you do that, but hang on, let me come closer. Oh yeah. That's to take the bow out of the material. Yeah. Plus, when I fill this with concrete, yeah, I can then put something on here, on here, and do it along so that. Um, oh, to level it, you to mean? Level it. So you can put. Yeah, to and tamp then, it down. And then on okay. Top of that goes this, goes Hang on, the, I can't uh, see. And so there's concrete this flush with this. Concrete on the in the tray. Yeah, flush with this. Yeah. And then the stone. Yeah. Will oversail we'll that slightly okay. and sit on top of it. Okay, that's going to look quite nice. So what about that end? Where will the stone be on that end? Well, there? I'm going to I'm going to put a lump of wood underneath here. Yeah. And then concrete the whole thing 
oh okay so the stone will go right to the step yes so what about that bit where there's still a little hole over there yeah well that there that over there i'm taking this timber out oh that's getting moved isn't it yeah it's going to be shifted over there yeah so this this doorway is going to be extended very slightly yes okay Right, so what have you done? Oh, so you've welded a bracket on the top of here yeah. to take your stringer. Yes. Uh, so now you're going to put another stringer on that side? No, I'm going to put the tread in there. You're going to put the tread in? Yeah. Oh, okay, and these yeah. just bolt on, don't they? Yes. Right. So you bolt these on first to so that you know where to put the next... There's put your it. other stringer, yeah? It saves, uh, save measuring it. Saves measuring it, okay. Well, you've already measured it all, haven't you? It's just where you actually fix it. Yeah. Oh, you do know you're going to have to do as a demonstration when these are done, going up and down them <laughs> <laughs> in your safety shoes. Yes. Yeah. See, ladies, I, he has managed to put his safety shoes on today in case he drops one of these on his toe. Now turn and get to the other side, the other stringer. Now we can see where he's got to bolt it. No, where he's got to weld it to. I can hear lots of dogs in the background, huh? They must be hunting over in the chateau grounds. Yeah. I heard some shooting earlier as well. wet Okay, doesn't seem to be very straight, Tone. Well, not at the moment. So. No. <laughs> okay, so that's that one sort of bolted in. Is it just bolted loosely? Yeah. Ah, I see. So now, yeah, so you level it up like that and then you know where to weld it at the bottom. That's it. Oh, how do you make it stay there while you weld it? Um. Um, don't know yet. Yeah, they're getting louder, the dogs. Aye. They must be yeah. quite close, mustn't they? Yeah, I can hear shooting as well. There's some timber under there. I'm going to get some uh, timber. Okay. Hey. Could you not clamp it? Could you not clamp it? No. Oh. Aha. What's the chances? Uh, what's the matter? Excellent. Too short? Or just right? Oh, nearly there. It's 
Spot on. That'll do. Oh. Oh, I see. So you rolled another bracket on that side. Yeah. I can't quite see there. All right. Yeah, so Tony's put an angle on that side. Does that get welded onto the top here? Yep. All right. And then it gets welded onto the stringer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, the, like that one. That's spot on. Okay. Tap that in. Tony's saying he's got quite a big gap on that side which the um, it keeps running into which is why it's taking him a while to finish welding that bit. It'll still be strong enough though won't it? Yeah. I mean, we're not talking about a huge gap. Oh, what about the other side? You finished that bit? Finish over, put the other two treads in there. Yeah? Oh, okay, and then... And then, then... then weld it down over there. Right. So how long does it take that stuff to set? Pardon? When you weld it like that, is it almost instantaneous? Yes. Yeah. As soon as the, as soon as the, as soon as the metal stops melting. Yeah. It. It's solid. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to let it dry off or anything like that. <laughs> right. No. Well, I don't know, do I? Dry off. Well, you glue. know what I mean. It's that, so. Some things, it's like glue. You stick things, and you have to wait for it to dry, don't you? Yeah. Or yeah. harden, or whatever, cure, or. Yeah. But not that. No, not. Okay. So what type of bolts are you using there? Um, 12 mil, 12 mil bolts. Are they galvanised or something? No, they're zinc plated. Zinc plated. It's sort of like galvanised, isn't it, zinc? Well, sort of. Yeah. yeah. But it's not dipped. Hmm? Is it galvanised when they dip it in the tank? Yeah. Oh, it looks like a real staircase now, time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be able to go up and down it in a minute. Okay. Oh, sorry. Right, all bolted in. No. They're not tightened up yet though, are they? Up, yeah. While you adjust it. How? Oh. Okay, so it's 
so it's just a bit, a bit leveling up, is it, before you do the last weld on the bottom? Yeah. Oh, don't get so close to the edge, Tone. Pardon? Don't get so close to the edge. Oh, you scare me. I don't know how you can stand there. Well, you're leveling each one up and then tightening it. Yep. From the top downwards. That's off of the floor there, isn't it? Pardon? Your, your end of your stringer is just off the floor there. Stand on that step for us, you want me to stand on the step while you're welding it? Yes. All right, as long as I look away, you won't melt my wellies, will you? No. <laughs> right. Oh, the bottom step. Bottom step. Yes. Over this side is okay, this no? End. This end. Uh, this end. Yeah, I know, but it's a bit close to the edge for me. Uh, it's a long way down. Pass my gloves, please. Uh, okay. Chip. Oh. What? I'm not good at heights. Well, not without a rail, I'm not. I'll look the other way, shall I? Right. Trying to look the other way. Eyes. Chipper, please. Uh, this thing. Yeah, you can get off now if you want. Hey! Yeah, well, I want. <laughs> because it was a fraction off of the floor that he made me stand on it, just to weight it down while he welded it. Done. Hey, go on then. Good. Testing. Hey, it works. It works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well done. I just don't don't get so close to the edge. I should be glad when you put the uh, handrail back or yes. whatever we're going to put there. We need to think about that, don't we? Are you going to put a different handrail on this end piece? I'm going to put a different handrail right right to the end. Really? Hmm. What a new standard sized yeah, proper, proper safe. I suppose the job done then isn't it? Yeah. And what will we do with these? 
Um, I don't know. We could perhaps put some of these round the river. Maybe. I know, again, they're not standard safety issue, but we don't have to have standard safety thing around the river because actually there was nothing around the river, was there? Yeah. There's a short wall on one side and nothing on the other side. I think perhaps where we don't have the wall. Yeah. I'll have to think about that. I, but I definitely don't want to waste them. I'd like to reuse them. But they're not, they're not, it's not the right thing for this building anyway, is it? Well, it is because the, at the time when it was built, they probably were the right thing. Yeah. I've seen these in the local graveyard and on graves that are dated early 1800s You're right and we think that this part this part of the building that we're in now when this balcony would have been built was probably around late 1800s so these are in keeping with the building when it was built mm. they're not in keeping with that building over there i don't think they're very decorative anyway so and then yeah but we place them up to there but if you think about it they're very similar to the ones that were on the chateau yeah which which you replaced because again they were dangerous. Yeah. Otherwise you wouldn't have replaced them, would you? Yeah. Yeah. And the chateau was built, I think that was very very late 1700s. Right. So this style has been in fashion for probably nearly nine or a hundred years. Mm. Until then. Um, yeah, until obviously standards were improved for safety yeah. reasons. Because these are definitely not safe because a child could fall through them or an adult could fall over the top because they're too low. Right. So, unfortunately, they do need to be replaced. So I'm going to pack up paint where I have painted. Yeah. And then I can't hear you, sorry, the wind. I'm going to concrete the pan. I'm going to concrete the pan, but it's a nice day for it. Yeah. Sorry, that noise in the background is the sheet on the next door house. Blowing about in the wind because it is breezy. That's the temporary sheet we put on there to protect the roof. Um, I think that's going to have to be replaced soon. Anyway, I'm not doing that today. Oh, you took your, jump, your jacket off, Tony. It must be warm. And then go and have a beer. Ah, they're going to write your book. Yeah. That's it. Okay, I'm going in then. Right. So, I'm going to cook us something for dinner, but I don't know what yet. I haven't decided what yet. Okay. Can I try them out? I suppose I have to. Even if there isn't a rail, I can go on this side. Here we are. Step. <laughs> oh, the easiest thing to film. This is safe, isn't it? To stand on. Is. Oh, it's all fixed. Because it's just straight off the other side again. Look, it's a long way down. Oh, while I'm up here, I'm sure you've all seen this before, but now I can get in here. This is the barn that we want to turn into another apartment. Isn't that beautiful? That goes in that direction, it goes into a loft which goes along into that loft along that side house there. And then the same thing here on this side. This is another loft and that goes to the full length of our front house because that window there overlooks the front and the square there. And you can see the memorial in the distance. Well, I hope you can. Anyway, I'll tell you more about this another time. I managed to come in here because Tony's done the stairs. Oh, I haven't been up here for a while now because you took the balcony away. That is still a bit scary. Hmm. Well, I'm coming back down. Oh, uh, uh, I don't like it without the handrail. Mm. 
So as you can see, most of that plate there is underneath the stairs. So uh, we might need to put something just at that piece at the bottom of the stairs, non something non-slip. Or coat it. You can buy paint that's non-slip, can't you, Tone? Okay. Actually, someone had a very good idea is the fact that you could mix up some sand with that bitumen stuff and paint it and it would help to... It would, yeah. Yeah? Done out of London Zoo. Did you? So, oh, that's a brilliant idea then. So if you just do that just underneath that bottom step there, yeah, then it'll not, all be that's, safe. It's not going to be slippery. I mean, you'd have to... Tone. No, no. Our customers say that it's going to be slippery. No. So if you just paint that little bit along the bottom there, yeah. mix it up with a bit of sand, uh -huh. job done. All safe. Because the top bit where Tony is won't be this, This that will be stone. And we're going to use that stone because we already know that it's non-slip. We tested it out when we used it in the, in the bathroom. Alright, would you like a cup of tea? That would be excellent. Right, I'm heading up the stairs to the balcony with a cup of tea for Tony. Today he's doing his cementing in that tray. Here we are, Tony. Yeah. So how did the amounts work out? Was that right? It's going to be about right here, a little bit left over. Okay, we had to do some more maths, didn't we? We had to work out how many bags of sand and cement Tony needed to mix up to fill this tray. And we've worked it out to three bags of sand and a bag of cement. That, fortunately, we worked out how to use in 25 kilograms right I, I have 35 kilogram bags oh so to do oh dear <laughs> we thought we had 25 kilogram bags yeah. so anyway it should have been 75 kilograms of sand yes and how much is a bag of cement well, I didn't need to go up to Phillips to get sand because I have 35 kilogram bags Ah, I see right I see and then another 35 kilograms of cement would have been three to one but Two to one, actually, but um, it wouldn't have mattered. Right. But anyway. Anyway. <laughs> We're just trying to... Uh, yeah, it was a little bit confusing maths, trying to work out if Tony had enough sand before we started. But, yeah, I just wondered how close we were. No, it's not, not going to be far off. Good, good. You got enough, though, because we worked it out that you would make just a little bit too much, just in case. Yes. Yes, well, I've got a hole okay. for it. Anyway, so this is the tray at the top of the stairs at the top of the balcony and then after you've done this you've screeded this with the cement obviously once it's dried yes. then we're going to use some of those stone pieces of stone that we've used on various different floors aren't we well, that will on make top up of this the extra 12 mil over there yeah you see. okay that's going to look quite smart when that's all finished yes hmm <clears throat> Right, I'll leave you to it. I wish you wouldn't stand so close to the edge there, Tony. It frightens the life out of me. Yep. A daredevil. Um, I've mopped that section of the floor as well. I did cobwebbed everything because it was a bit dusty over there. So I'll let that dry. Then I can restack lots of things in the window while I make my way around the rest of the room and clear myself a space. Okay. Oh, we've got a nice hole in the ceiling. Right. 
Right. So is it just a case of swapping them over? <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's never that easy. Did I ask a silly question? Yes, oh. it's never that easy. <laughs>